Number nine. So we have two more questions here. Uh, we're on track to finish on time here. So number 10. Number 10 is which of the following solids has, a, has the highest melting point? So I'm looking at highest. melting point and given compounds so C, it's cs in the form of a diamond i have kr uh, solid krypton i have nacl i have h2o okay so uh, when we talk about highest melting point we have to tell, we have to classify these compounds as are they covalent um are they ionic are they um are, are they molecular? What are these guys here? So carbon here, as in the form of diamond, is actually a covalent network here. So it's going to be basically it's C bonded C bonded C bonded C, and basically it's like it's basically a bunch of carbon bonded to each other. So this here is a covalent network compound. Krypton here is simply just a um, just a uh, it's a noble gas, right? So krypton here exists as a noble gas. So if you look at the periodic, periodic table, Krypton exists in group 18 here. So it's not really, um, it's not really a, a very, 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 it's a, it's a stable compound, but a Krypton solid here, um, solid here makes a big difference here. Because Krypton, again, noble, it's usually in a gas form. However, if it's a solid form, it's a very, very, very weak structure here. So it's a noble gas, but solid form is weak because it prefers to exist in a gas form. So the solid is probably going to basically sublime or go through the process of sublimation to form a gas here. So Krypton is actually the weakest one here. Uh, NaCl is obviously my ionic compound. So I have, uh, it can be dissociated into um, the uh, sodium ion, uh, cation, and the chlorine anion. And finally water here is simply a, um, a covalent compound, right? So if I were to rank my intermolecular forces here, um, covalent networks is definitely the strongest one. So co diamond, think of a diamond, very, very hard to melt. Covalent networks are very, very strong because they're, they rely on each other for them to, uh, to produce their, uh, their, their covalent network here. So that diamond will have my strongest, uh, will have my highest melting point. Then it will be my ionic, ionic compounds, right? Ionic compounds also are very, very strong because again, it's the exchange of electrons. Right? One sodium is giving away its electron. Chlorine is accepting its electrons here. It's a forming an ionic bond, very, very strong. Thirdly, we have our covalent compound here. Uh, H2O is, uh, is our second, our third, our third basically highest melting point because of, again, if you draw the structure of water here, you're going to have hydrogen bonding. So hydrogen bonding, again, strongest intermolecular force in a covalent compound. So this would be making number three. And finally, krypton would be number four in terms of melting point because, it, because it's in a solid form. So it has very, very weak um, van der Waal forces here. So the solution here is correct. Diamond, sodium chloride, uh, water and then krypton here. So solution here is correct. It's correct. Good analysis here.